Hey, you guys, welcome back. This program, I think, in the long run, really has started to focus on our culture here in Utah. And certainly, there are so very many components of that wonderful, beautiful culture that we all contribute to and we all benefit from here in this gorgeous location. Fine art, I do believe, is a category that I could do a better job in including in this program but I'm exempting myself from any blame tonight because we're going to talk about just that. I'm very excited to have with me for the second time on this program, the artist, Eva Okrant, and she is joined by one of her subjects from this upcoming show, Brecken Jones. Hi, you guys, welcome. Hi, it's so nice for to see us. you. Welcome back. It's good to be back. It's Looking nice great. You got some great new ink. Rep the ink. Who's your artist? I have to ask. It's Alex Guy from Good Times in Salt Lake. Good Times he in Salt is Lake. The man. Well, That's a good I, shot. I, it just occurred to me as I was going to make reference to your <laughs> awesome new ink is that you would if I'm ever going to go get advice <laughs> on who's the best around here, I think a fine artist would be the person <laughs> to recommend if, if it passes your muster yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> I've drawn most of them, but then he kind of goes in and yeah. does his Sure, thing. sure. Yeah. Makes yeah. The, the body canvas. Exactly. <laughs> Brecken, welcome. Nice to see you. A pleasure to meet you. Uh -huh. We're going to talk about music very soon as well cool. but of course you're here and I'm here uh, for her today a primary yeah. capacity so <laughs> uh, we'll try to try to stay focused cool. on the fine art right on. Yeah. second show second show so this one is way different than the first one um, last year it was all about flowers and getting back into the game kind of can I do this and um, this show was a total just investigation into the body again. So I don't remember if you remember, or if you remember last year, I said that there were like faces all around. Yeah, sure, yes. And so I played with the idea of just not putting the face in and it turned into this like totally cool concept because as you can see, the, the paintings themselves, they have this like open, to yes. them because of that. And so instead of getting the tunnel vision where it's like right to eyes and face and what's going on, the whole series lets you break into what else is happening in the in the picture. And I think you can see more into the person itself. So And of course we're portraits. programmed for that to to really focus in yeah. on the eyes and the and all of the gestures and very small cues that we're receiving all the time. So right. what a great thought to make the canvas a little bit bigger in a way simply yeah. by making yeah. that an abstracted portion of your Yeah, it paintings. it was um unintentional at first, like the the very first faceless portrait I did just we ran out of time for that one setting and then a year happened and the flowers happened and um and that's kind of where I met Brecken was what at a New Year's party. It was at Studio 11. At where Studio 11 where my show is going to be and nice. he's the mm -hmm. first person that ever came up to me and said I've always wanted a portrait. Will you will you paint me? And I thought, right, sure, sure, some random person. Sure. But then we kind of followed through with it. And, yeah. And it turned into something so much cooler than uh, than we planned on. Well, and that was one of the things as, as we discussed just before we came on camera. But a, a thing that I'm excited to to kind of get your input of experience on is I'm sure that, that you've had people sit for portraits before in the mm -hmm. past when you were a younger artist, that sort of thing. But obviously the flowers don't talk back. <laughs> so now you have subjects. That's <laughs> right. I'm losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk but about that relationship and about that dialogue that happens in this case yeah. with a commission. I mean, if you want me to, my pr perspective when I was doing it because I've never done it before it was kind of funny coming into it and thinking that it was going to be a short thing <laughs> all right just it was, okay hold right there okay and great job everybody yeah. great job and it was not seven hours yeah, later it was yes. not like that but um I that's what kind of was cool about it I'm into like meditation and stuff and it really forces you to be there with that person because I'm not like looking at my phone or anything and even though we we would talk here and there but there'd be long moments of like silence when she's like focused and that was just a uh, it was cool and then seeing the finished product was <clears throat> where it really kind of came together for me so yeah yeah it, it was a really interesting experience 
especially working this one with Brecken because it was kind of how we really met. Like we had yeah. not yeah. known each other nearly as long as some of the other people that I've painted throughout the series after the fact. Um, but what I came to understand was that the setting is so special and it's so really personal and intimate and there's so much vulnerability happening on the person sitting for me that what happens is we both end up talking about really intimate things and it's like that airplane ride where you're like I'll never see mm -hmm. this person on the train right. you talk about things and you're like wow yeah. I really connected mm -hmm. but in this case it's like the history of that conversation is in all the layers of the painting yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the I guess what for me happened was because um, because we're having this conversation the emotive style of, of how I must be painting is coming through and and taking in what I am getting from from Brecken or from whoever was sitting um, in in like their essence, their deepest self or that side that we don't really see often. True. Um, so sometimes it came in a really strong pose or sometimes it was a little bit more covered or um, closed off, but at the same time all of the different paintings have this humanity um, and natural form within them, which was really cool when I saw them starting to develop like all the paintings standing next to each other have this really intense feeling. So it's not eyes staring back anymore, but it's like this open world of conversation Interesting. really brings you in. It makes me think one of my first years here at the station, we were fortunate to welcome Marina Abramovich, oh, who okay. big time, mm -hmm. very, very uh, lauded artist. She's and an I think of, of and I, yeah. I think of, of her, uh, uh, installation, I guess, is maybe the right word where she allowed uh, lines of people yeah. to come in and spend two minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Jay Z, mm -hmm. uh, among other people, participated in one of her. I've seen the film of yeah. one of her former lovers. A long yeah. time mm -hmm. paramour of hers came. Oh, and, and it, there's so much intensity. Yeah. And and I think of that in terms of of the of the painter and the subject, but also, right. like you say, mm -hmm. the the relationship of the two of you. Talk a little bit about your other subjects and what that yes. experience was like. So um, so right after I painted Brecken's, I was just like, oh, I have I have all these ideas and a lot of more inspiration. Like it was building. So then the very next day, I did a self portrait um, because I really wanted to know if other people are going to sit for me in this way, I have to know how it feels for myself. So it's, it took away the conversation, in a right. sense, for that. Um, but it prepared me to have a more, um, I guess, a softer way of being around friends that had asked specifically, I like what you're doing. Can I be a part of this? Right. And that was the first time that's ever happened. And so that context changed the conversation because it became well, why do you want to do? Why do you want to sit here and, and kind of suffer while I'm working? Because we're in two different brainwaves, but at the same time, we're talking about our pasts and our body image things and what it Absolutely. feels like to just be just so um, exposed and, and vulnerable and, and, and yeah, and cold and <laughs> and all of the the sitting and then breaks and let dry time. Because I tried to do all the paintings in one session. Um, so that made it a little challenging too because usually a portrait painting will go over the span of a few weeks. Um, so this was a lot of intensive painting and, and using different mediums and blow dryers to try and help the process Keep the go. process moving. Yeah. Had you done any studies of any, uh, any of your subjects beforehand? It was just... Yeah, no, it was just kind of blind. And a lot of the, the canvases started, Brecken started covered in uh, blue. I'd, I was trying to get myself going. I was in a rut, and so I just painted a bunch of different primary colors on canvases, and his happened to be blue, and so I did that with others, too, because I liked how the underpainting showed kind of weird things going on when the paint mm. started to, to dry, um, which makes them more interesting, too. That's one of my favorite things about all of them, is when you're far away, you see the subject and the painting, but when you get up close, you see like a whole other world of of things going on there underneath and different layers of paint and stuff. Yeah, the impasto of it. 
technical term. What a great term, and I love it when I hear words that I don't know. Could you share with us <laughs> yeah. the definition of impasto <laughs> yeah, so that I we just, all I just are enlightened it, a little bit so. today? Yeah, it's a little Italian. <laughs> I hope, maybe. Um, but it just, it's about the thickness of the paint. So oh, sure. if you were to rub uh, your hand against the canvas, this you'll feel the, the relief texture. So there's actual texture, whereas um, in certain styles of painting with like a brush, it it appears to have texture, but it's perfectly smooth. So this is just a more impressionistic, thicker style of painting, more rapid. Um, and that, that came up too. So I have the juxtaposition of someone sitting perfectly still, and I'm like a maniac just right, using right. a knife. To and yeah, and talk a little bit about using the knife around. because that's certainly a, a very different tool yeah. from any kind of a brush. Yeah, and I would say that that's where I got most, so from the flowers series, I used a palette knife as well. And that really helped me in this series for my like color theory and my technique because I got to play around on the flowers with how to make certain shapes or how to blend the colors in a way that I wanted to. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it's challenging with a one shape of a knife to try and create all the different edges of somebody's body and shadows and the softness and muscle, but also the harshness of whatever else is going on. Um, and then on top of relief or chunky paint that's old, that's dried, that it all has this different way of, of binding. So it was interesting. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and, and I recall, my, I loved Von Ach early, and you know, would buy these coffee table books mm -hmm. that you see texture, but then to stand in front of those paintings. Oh yeah, it's totally it's, different. It's a, it's a completely different experience, and, yeah. and probably a great reason for people to come and see, and of course you've got a lot of, of your work is on, on Instagram, and kind of your in yep. process, and that kind of thing, but to really see these canvases in person is, it's Yeah, it changes, the experience. it changes what you're seeing, definitely. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, we should talk about details on the show. Yes, so, my show is uh, this Saturday from 6 to 11 at Studio 11, which is downtown Salt Lake, 435 West, yep. 400 South. Mm -hmm. um, and the beginning of the show, I'll be doing a live painting. So anyone that's, that, that's interested mm -hmm. in seeing what it really looks like to, uh, to be in that world where making it kind of like a welcome to my studio vibe. Mm -hmm. um, and a good friend of mine is posing for me there, so that'll be from six to eight-ish. Do a little um, question and answer afterwards. So get there early because yeah. it'll mm -hmm. be groovy. It's, it's so be groovy. And the grooviest so groovy. part is after the painting, Brecken's band Strange Familia is playing. I'm so excited. Yeah. I have to mention my, uh, so we're, we're a two-piece band and yeah. my, my compadre also got painted and we're the only two males in the series besides, there's, there's oh you're three. right, yeah. your there's buddy's in the one, but yeah. he's in a combo one with his girlfriend so I forgot about him. But That's very yeah. cool. Well, an yeah. uh, open invite to come and join us here on Park City Television and play <laughs> some music as well. Cool. But I'll definitely we'll look forward up. to seeing you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, social media, where should folks go? Um, Instagram, Eva Okrent, and my website is evaokrent.com. And that's all I've got. So very straightforward. Yeah. Thank you so Easy. much, you guys. It's really great to Thanks, meet you. Thanks, Terry. It's so good to Eva, see you Eva, nice again. to see you again. Yeah. Congratulations. This is really cool. and it's. It's really neat that you you come and share this with us. Like I say, I feel like we need more fine art on this program, and I can <laughs> kind of think of the guy that could probably help that out. So yeah. thank you for the inspiration, First. and we'll see you this weekend. Yeah. Awesome. Be Thanks, you Groovy. guys. <laughs> okay, y'all, quick break. Lots more show, more music from Emily B. Daniel's here. We're going to talk about farmer's markets, silly markets, everything that's happening in Park City. More after this break.